Sorry if my last video wasn't very good, but I think the moral of the story uh, story is everyone loves the tigers, right? Because Carol loves the tigers the most. She'll kill someone for her tigers, and she will impose her beliefs on other people because she believes so much that those tigers should not be bred to be in cages. Um, Doc Annell, does he love the tigers? That's the question. So if Brett Kavanaugh is Doc Annell, because is killing tigers like that kind of like a serial killer type behavior? Yeah, but it doesn't mean you're a serial killer, but serial, serial rapists also, it's a, it's, it's, it's a behavior that a normal person would have an extremely averse reaction to. Um, if someone's a serial rapist, they'd go, ooh, that's, that's disgusting. If someone's a serial murderer, Ooh, that's disgusting. Someone is a um, serial animal killer. Uh, ooh, that's disgusting. So, does Brett Kavanaugh love his country? Because if he did, he would have never taken the taken the nomination. Because he would know how awful taking that nomination was and how disrespectful that was to his country that he would allow himself, a serial rapist that has had a very interesting trial be the judge over an entire Nate. I mean, that's a big deal. All right. So, but does Jeff Lowe love the tigers? Jeff Lowe is a creep. Um, and I have an averse reaction to him cause I can see him cause I, 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 I always have my eyes open looking for Jeff Lowe, which is Joe Biden in my opinion. Um, because it's important to watch for Jeff Lowe's. Because anytime you're someone that's actually talented, that's actually going to contribute to the world, that actually brings something to the table, then Jeff Lowe is going to come in and try to make sure he gets a piece of it, or he takes all of it, and he will do whatever it takes to take all of it. All right, so... Brett Kavanaugh... Why has everyone stopped talking about Brett Kavanaugh and just accepted that this guy is on the Supreme Court. I said for a long time, we need to impeach him. Doesn't it say something about this country's soul that we have a serial, an alleged serial rapist in charge of our judicial branch? I think it does. So the fact that everyone's just kind of accepting this, I don't think it's okay. And, but I don't know. All, what, I, what I do know is that the Republicans have accepted what the Democrats did and they were definitely involved and that's when I said the Republicans are easy to get in on this blackmail situation it's really easy to get them to approve of it because they're so against drugs and stuff like that and they're definitely going to be against someone that says I'm a clone of Satan so it's pretty easy to get a radical Christian to be so against a, an alleged drug dealer who is a clone of Satan um, and that's why it would be, it, it, it's not baffle. It wouldn't be impossible for me to believe that Joe Biden wasn't the only person that was behind this blackmail if the blackmail exists. But all I'm saying is that Donald Trump's behavior is, 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 is that of someone that seems like they're getting blackmailed. And you can tell me in the news now, Jared Kushner's in charge, but all I know is Jared Kushner did not pick Brett Kavanaugh. And these Republicans, I know them. Why? Because I was raised by Republicans. I know exactly what they believe. I know exactly what they care about. And I know exactly, well, at least I know what they should care about if they're good Republicans. Good, good Republicans have a serious problem with serial rapists. Good Republicans are not as big a misogynists as the, pe the, 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 the people that are in Washington, D.C. Good Republicans, um, they do believe that women have certain roles a lot of the time because they're Christian and they read the Bible and stuff like that but they also believe that women should be protected and that people that break outside of that norm and that that do serial rapes that practice serial rape those people should be in jail and I think that good Republicans know that I mean all I'm saying is Lindsey Graham like is he a good Republican or is he a good 
political party Republican because it seems like there's this small group of people that are constantly cl constantly clinging on to their power. They realize Brett Kavanaugh was a serial rapist later after they'd already really pushed to put, get this guy in this situation. And all, all I'm saying is if you think the people that are in charge don't know what's going on, you're crazy. And that's why I'm saying the Freedom Caucus knows what's going on. Lindsey Graham knows what's going on. Nancy Pelosi knows what's going on. The Democrats are worse. They're working together. They're, they, I mean, they're, 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 they're literally saying, we're going to vote along the party line. Please vote against us so that we look like we're not working together. But they are working together. And somehow they put Brett Kavanaugh in charge. And that's the, that's the real issue is you guys will pick Brett Kavanaugh because he's against someone instead of picking someone because they're good. And you guys can't see Jeff Lowe coming because you're too busy focused on Carol. I mean, because Jeff Lowe, he, I mean, but is, who, but who's who's the guy you really can't see? Doc Annell, because Doc Annell is one of you. And it's, it's I think, I don't know. I know what, what I do know is that my country's morals are completely bankrupt. So, that's who we are now. It's, it's really disappointing for someone like me who actually loves the Tigers. I actually love my country. And all I'm saying is I think that specifically um, some of you guys love the country. Like I said, a lot, you guys are Carol a lot of the time. And you do love your country to the point that you'll kill for your country. And, and that doesn't mean you're a bad person, but um, Carol's protecting Doc Annell in this circumstance. A lot of Doc Annells, unfortunately.